Hey friends, my name is Sahil and this is my Pursu Finance Academy. In the last few years, chemical sector in India is on a roll. Due to the shutdown of chemical factories in China on account of environmental concern and global companies looking for alternative to China, there is a strong demand for chemicals from Indian companies. One of the reasons is that India has a low cost labor and has the required experience in this chemical industry. Hence, in this video, I want to compare two chemical companies that have provided stellar returns for the investor in the last few years. It's Alkylamine and Balaji Amine. I am sure many of you would have invested in one of these stocks. Let me know in the comments if you hold any of the stocks in your portfolio and what is the return you are getting. Now for a normal person, it gets very difficult to understand their products, business, future, etc. As chemical company products are quite complex. And that's where it gets very confusing in terms of which company to select for investment. Hence, in this video, I'll compare Alkyl Amine and Balaji Amine to decide which is better among both. So if you're confused between Alkyl Amine and Balaji Amine, then this video would help you in selecting the right stock. So we'll first start with understanding what exactly are amines and what is their usage. Then we'll look at the key growth drivers for amine industry in India. Then we'll briefly look at alkylamine and Balaji Amine business. And finally, we'll compare both companies on financial parameters like market cap, five-year stock return, revenue and profit growth, operating margin, ROE and ROCE, debt to equity, free cash flow, promoter holding, and finally the valuation. But this video is only for educational purpose. Please invest wisely. I would recommend exploring my course on money management to learn about stocks, mutual fund, etc. before you invest your hard-earned money. All right, let's get started. Chemical businesses can be classified into four segments on the basis of increasing degree of value addition. Petrochemical, basic chemical, specialty chemical, and performance chemical. Amines could be classified into specialty chemicals. They are the chemical derived from ammonia by displacement of H2 in ammonia molecule by other radicals such as methyl, ethylene and propanol. Within amine, one of the category is aliphatic amine. Both alkyl amine and balaji amine are leading player in this aliphatic amine in India. The size of aliphatic amine industry globally is $4.9 billion. Globally, the amine industry is oligopolistic with just 2-3 producers catering to the majority of demand in a region. In terms of application by industry, amines find usage in pharma, which is the biggest contributor with around 60% contribution. Then agrochemical, then paint, then rubber chemical, water treatment, dyes and textile, etc. Since the aliphatic amine industry is oligopolistic in nature, there is a strong correlation between the growth of end user industry and amine industry. If the end user industry would grow, the amine industry would also grow. One of the key raw material to manufacture this aliphatic amine is methanol, which is primarily imported from the Middle East countries. The reason for growth for amine industry is due to high demand from end industries, including your pharma and agrochemical sector, that constitute the largest share in this end industry application for amines. Both pharma and agrochemical sector has high growth potential in the future and that would drive the growth of amine sector in India. Another reason for growth of alkyl amine and balaji amine is high entry barrier. Manufacturing of amine is a highly complex process that requires high level of technical knowledge and has stringent manufacturing norms. Hence, it is not easy for competitors to enter into this sector. Another reason is that aliphatic amines have huge handling risk and hence, it is not easy to transport them. Due to this, there is less risk of import from global competitors and local players like Alkynamine and Balaji Amine have higher preference. Currently, there is a short supply of Ethylamine in India due to high demand along with other amines. This is also resulting in both Alkynamine and Balaji Amine expanding their manufacturing capabilities and that would result in more revenues and profits in the future. Incorporated in 1979, Alkynamine is a global supplier of amines and amine-based chemicals to pharmaceutical, agrochemical, rubber chemical and water treatment industries. Company has a wide experience of 41 years in amine industry. Alkynamine is a global leader in ethylamine. 
then one of the leading players globally in DEHA that is diethyl hydroxylamine then one of the largest producer of BMA HCL that is dimethylamine hydrochloride alkanamine has three manufacturing sites with 15 plants in western Maharashtra and Gujarat covering approximately 115 acres alkanamine has got 100 plus products most of them are developed in-house I don't want to get into product related details as they get very technical its promoter and MD is Mr. Yogesh Kothari with the growing demand alkanamine has planned investment of approximately 350 crore for investment of capacity for aliphatic amine at Kurkum and Patal Ganga sites in Maharashtra the capacity will be added in the next 15 to 18 months established in 1988 Balaji Amine is one of the leading manufacturers of aliphatic amines in India. It commenced its manufacturing of methyl amine in 1989 and subsequently added facilities for manufacturing of ethyl amine and other derivatives of methyl amine and ethyl amine. Its founder and chairman is Mr. A. Pratap Reddy. Its MD is Mr. D. Ram Reddy. If you look at the end sector application of Balaji Amine, Pharma is the largest contributor with around 51% share. It is followed with agrochemical with 26% share. Remaining sectors include your paint, animal feed, oil and gas, rubber, etc. Balaji Mine has its manufacturing plant in Solapur. It has recently expanded its manufacturing capacity with this ethyl amine plant which is in phase 1 of the Greenfield project that commenced operation in May 2021. Company has planned capex of around 225 crore out of which 172 crore capex is already done by June 2020. In addition, Balaji Mine also has a 5 star hotel in Solapur with name Balaji Sarovar Premier where it has invested 110 crore. If you look at the market cap, Alkala Mine has a market cap of around 20,000 crore whereas Balaji Mine has a market cap of around 15,000 crore. So in terms of market cap, alkylamine is bigger than Balaji Amine. Hence, alkylamine is number one and Balaji Amine is number two. If you look at the stock return in five years, alkylamine shares have given more than 3000% return where Balaji Amine shares have given around 1500% return. So both alkylamine and Balaji Amine have been a huge wealth creator for their investors in last five years. However, alkylamine returns are much higher than Balaji Amine. Hence, Alkyl Amine is number one and Balaji Amine is number two position. If you look at the revenue size, Alkyl Amine revenues have grown from Rs 484 crore in FI16 to Rs 1242 crore by FI21. Balaji Amine revenues have grown from 640 crore in FI16 to Rs 1308 crore by FI21. So in terms of absolute revenue size, both companies are at par. If you look at the CGR growth in revenue in last 5 years, Alkyl Amine revenues have grown at a CGR of 20.7% whereas Balaji Amine revenues have grown at a CGR of 15.37%. Hence, Alkyl Amine is leading the revenue growth in last 5 years and Balaji Amine is at number 2 position. If you look at the profit size, Alkyl Amine profits have grown from 50 crore in FI16 to 295 crore by FI21. Whereas Balaji Amine profits have grown from 58 crore in FI16 to rupees 238 crore by FI21. So in terms of absolute profit size, Alkyl Amine is number one position and Balaji Amine is at number two position. If you look at the CHR growth in profit in last five years, Alkyl Amine profits have grown at a CGR of 42.6%. Whereas Balaji Amine profits have grown at a CGR of 32.6%. Hence, Alkyl Amine is again leading the profit growth in last 5 years and Balaji Amine is at number 2 position. Although both companies' profits have grown at an amazing rate. If you look at the operating margin for FI21, Alkyl Amine and Balaji Amine had similar margins till 2019. But then Alkyl Amine margins jumped higher than Balaji Amine and the latest operating margin of Alkyl Amine stood at 35% whereas Balaji Amine margin stood at 29%. Hence again, Alkyl Amine is number one and Balaji Amine is number two. Although both companies have got a very high operating margin. If you look at the return on equity, Alkyl Amine and Balaji Amine had similar ROE till 2019. But then again, 
alkanamine ROE jumped higher than Balaji amine and latest ROE of alkanamine stood at 37.25% where Balaji amine margins stood at 26.6%. Hence again alkanamine is number one and Balaji is number two but both have got very high ROE. If you look at the ROCE, Balaji amine ROCE was higher than alkylamine till 2018 but then alkylamine took the lead and its latest ROC for FY21 is 48% and Balaji amine ROC stood at 34%. Hence again alkylamine is number 1 and Balaji amine is number 2 but both companies have got a very good ROC. If you look at the debt to equity, alkylamine debt to equity is 0.16 and Balaji Mine has debt to equity of 0.4. So both companies are comfortably placed in terms of leverage structure. However, Alkina Mine has much lower debt to equity ratio than Balaji Mine. Hence, Alkina Mine is number one position and Balaji Mine is at number two position. If you look at the free cash flow, Alkina Mine has a good amount of free cash flow in FR21. Whereas, Balaji Mine had a good amount of consistent free cash flow but the latest free cash flow for FI21 is negative. Hence, as per latest free cash flow for FI21, Alkina Mine is number one position and Balaji Mine is at number two position. If you look at the shareholding, Alkina Mine promoters hold 74.09% shareholding in the company whereas Balaji Mine promoters have 53.68% shareholding. Again, Alkina Mine is number one and Balaji is number two. Now let's look at the valuation part. Alkanamine is currently trading at a PE of 62 whereas Balaji Amine is trading at a PE of 51. So from a valuation point of view, Balaji Amine is trading at lower valuation than Alkanamine. Overall if we conclude, both Alkanamine and Balaji Amine are in the business of amine manufacturing which is a specialty chemical. This sector has been growing at a very good rate in the last few years and has a bright growth prospect in the future. Both companies are expanding their manufacturing facilities to cater to this growing demand. Now let's quickly summarize the financial comparison between Alkanamine and Balaji Amine. In terms of market cap, Alkanamine is number one and Balaji Amine is number two. In terms of five-year stock return, Alkanamine is number one, Balaji Amine is at number two. In terms of absolute revenue size, both companies are at par. In terms of five-year revenue growth, Alkanamine is number one, Balaji Mine is at number 2. In terms of absolute profit size, Alkana Mine is at number 1, Balaji Mine is at number 2 position. In terms of 5 year profit growth, Alkana Mine is number 1 position, Balaji Mine is at number 2. In terms of operating margin, again Alkana Mine is number 1, Balaji Mine is number 2. In terms of ROE, again Alkana Mine is number 1, Balaji Mine is number 2. In terms of ROCE, Alkana Mine is number 1, Balaji Mine is number 2. In terms of debt to equity, Alkana Mine is number 1 and Balaji is number 2. In terms of free cash flow, again Alkanamine is number 1 and Balaji is at number 2 position. In terms of promoter shareholding, Alkanamine is number 1, Balaji is at number 2. Finally, in terms of valuation, Balaji Amine is at number 1 and Alkanamine is at number 2. Now, as far as financials are concerned, both companies are doing great. However, Alkanamine is ahead of Balaji Amine in all the financial parameters and hence it is trading at a premium valuation than Balaji Amine. But clearly Alkyne Amine is the leader between the two. So tell me in the comments which is your preferred choice. I will see you in another video. Till then take care.